All right, let's get lost with a little New York City FC. Why are we talking about New York City FC? This is a picture from July 3rd before New York City against uh, Atlanta at Yankee Stadium. This Saturday, uh, New York City beat the New England Revolution at this very spot by a final score of 4-2. to two. You know that uh, Joseph Martinez was not very happy after the Atlanta game. Well, guess what? Bruce Arena was not very happy after this one. Well, you know. There was a chance that we had we could have a good game today, despite the fact we were playing on a a bad baseball field. It's supposed to be a soccer field, and we're scheduling games at one o'clock in the afternoon in July. But we had two good teams. There was a chance of having a real good game, and unfortunately, that was not the case. Okay, so we know Bruce Arena's a little bit upset. Elsewhere in the Eastern Conference, more tension. Ernst Tanner, he's Philadelphia Union's sporting director. He says he felt fooled when LAFC went out and signed Gareth Bale and Giorgio Chiellini to TAM deals. Quote, that takes some believing. All right, so I don't know if this is a get lost, Herc, or a shots fired, but uh, which of these two comments do you want to focus in on first? Oh, can we go to Ernst Tanner first? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, this is... Any way you want to look at it, get lost or shots fired, wow. He is alluding to the fact that he feels LAFC is cheating. Mm -hmm. I mean, he just pretty much said, hey, there's no way those players are playing for under $1.6 million. They're doing something sneaky like Inter-Miami did, like David Beckham and Jorge Mas' team did. And they've been sanctioned for it, and they were caught in fines and all these different things. He's pretty much saying that. He's saying there's no way these two superstars are making that amount of money. There's no way they should be playing at LAFC. Uh, what's the reason this is happening? Because they like the sunshine? So he's throwing some very heavy accusations without any proof. Now, I know that in the history of Major League Soccer, Seb, things like this have happened. We've mm -hmm. heard the stories. We've heard the stories of MLS.1, you know, or 1.0, excuse me, uh, where these players were paid. Jorge in, Campos for, Ferrari. Jorge Campos Ferrari. Claudio Zlatan's Suarez. team in Sweden. Yeah, Cla 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 hold on, I'll get there. Claudio Suarez in a different bank account in, in Mexico. And then, yes, here's a TAM player, Zlatan, LA Galaxy. And that's not even MLS 1.0. We're going on new age uh, uh, MLS. And he was playing here, yes, for that amount, but they also promised him half a franchise in Sweden. So we've seen things like this. But... He is an official of the league. You can't do this unless you have proof. You know what? You think he'll get fined? He should. Really? Yeah. So, because I'm thinking if, if Tanner Ernst is willing to say this into a microphone and say this on the record, I wonder how much of the rest of the league feels this way and is questioning uh, exactly what it is that LAFC did to get those guys to accept the TAM deals. Can we focus in on New England just for a second? Go because ahead. I'm never going to criticize Bruce Arena for talking about Yankee Stadium. It is, a, it is an embarrassment that there are games being played there. Every image that I see, it seems, of Yankee Stadium as a soccer field gets worse and worse and worse. So he's, he's definitely onto something there. But there is something happening in New England, Herc. There is a tension. There is a frustration. I think they're ninth right now in the Eastern Conference. They're below the playoff line. We saw reports of Josie Altador getting into it with a, a, an assistant on the Revolution staff during the game over the weekend. So I think there's something happening in New England that's very different from the Supporter Shield team that we saw a year ago. Obviously. I mean, where do we start? It, it, we should not shy away from what is that soccer field mm -hmm. in New York. It's an abomination for these players and it's an abomination for the league. It's a bad look. Those are the defending MLS Cup champions. But to go from a historic team in the regular season to do what you did last season, to be where you are this season with that amount of talent, with that coach, that is telling you something. There is something brewing deeper in New England than we are aware of. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.